The question I always get asked is what is NB-IoT? NB-IoT is also known as CAT NB-1 or sometimes CAT NB-2. It's a narrowband technology that does not use the traditional LTE physical layer, but is designed to coexist and work around those LTE bands. And it does coincide with all the other RAT types that are available. MBIoT is part of the LP WAN or the Low Power Wide Area Network family. It operates around the 200k kilohertz band, so that it gives you that long range, which is a massive posi positive for that technology. But it has very low throughput compared to other LP WAN technology and LTE devices. But more important, it provides that penetration that devices need, especially in central buildings, cellars, and even garages. MBI2 is perfect for that static low throughput application that requires that long range. With that in mind, a well-designed device can achieve a long battery life. When we look at the MNOs, they've had to install new equipment to support NBIOT. With the low bandwidth, NBIOT has lost the ability to have a meaningful downstream. What do I mean? Well, how do I do device updates? They're not really possible. So NBIOT devices meaning is that they are built once, shipped and forgotten. Not ideal if you're looking for device longevity. Also with NBIOT, it's lost SMS. It's not supported. Is SMS important? Well, SMS is still used in a number of devices to wake them up, even device setup. But more important, SMS, especially in the EUICC SIM technology, is used where we can load new profiles and switch to new profiles. Overall, devices using MBIoT have a place in the IoT ecosystem and they can sit alongside other LP WAN and LT devices.